All right, so now that you have the Ring Floodlight Cam set up and installed, you wanna get it set up on the Ring app. So you wanna go in, get it all set up on the app, and then how do you access the camera from within the app? So we're gonna go through all those steps of setting it up and accessing the camera on the app right now. So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up the floodlight and we're gonna add it to the Ring app. Now, typically when you're doing a setup, it's gonna to get to the point when you power that camera on to take you to the setup area to add the device. So I'm gonna go through this video like you were just adding it right in the app in the menu because it's gonna give somebody some value too. So this is another way you can go ahead and add a device to your Ring setup. So you see you got down here at the bottom, you have this little plus down here where you can say add device. You can click on that where you can add the device here or you can go to the main menu, which we're gonna to go to the main menu here in the upper left-hand corner, and we're gonna to go to add device here. So you have multiple ways that you can go through this process. We're gonna go in the upper left-hand corner and we're gonna add it from right here. All right, so here in the main menu, we're gonna choose set up a device. So when you go to set up a device, it's gonna ask you what type of ring device are you trying to set up? So we're gonna pick security cams. So that's gonna give us the security cam. Now when we do that, it's gonna ask us to scan the QR code that came with our device. The QR code is located on a sheet that comes with your ring device. You can also find it on the box or on the device itself. So you're gonna scan the one that's on the sheet and we're gonna scan that, which is a unique identifier for our ring device. It also recognizes what type of device you have. As you can see, it already says floodlight cam, so it recognizes that this is the floodlight cam. The next step is choosing the location for your camera. So you're gonna choose a location where you're setting up your camera. Now, if you have like a rental property or something like that, you could have multiple locations. So you're gonna choose the right location that you're setting up your ring device at. So we're gonna go ahead and choose this location. So now it's asking us, what do we wanna name this device? So we can use one of the preset names that are here, or we can choose a custom name. So we're gonna choose custom, and then we're gonna name our device. Now I named this device Be Right because it's the backyard right camera. So I'm gonna type in the name that I want, and then I'm gonna click continue. So now it's gonna take that device. It's asking me, have I installed my device already? And yes, I have. So we're going to hit install. So now what it's going to do is it's going to set up a temporary hotspot to connect the Ring app on your mobile device to the camera itself. So once it recognizes the Ring device on the mobile app, it's going to recognize your network, so your home network. And then you're going to choose the network that you have. So we're going to choose our network. And now it's going to connect the camera to that specific network. So it removes the temporary hotspot, connects the camera to your home network, which allows it to now be a part of your ring network. And now you're good to go. You've got this camera installed on your ring network and it's all set up and good to go. So this video was made adding a device to an already existing Ring network. I already had everything set up. My location was set up. Everything was already set up for my Ring network when I added the floodlight cam. If this is your first cam that you're adding or your first Ring device that you're adding, I want you to look at the doorbell cam setup because that video will show you what it's like to set up something for the first time because there's a few more steps that you're going to have to go through to set something up for this first time. You're going to have to set up a location. You can add more security preferences when you set up a device the first time or you're setting up your ring network the first time. So this video is just adding to an existing ring network that you already have. All right. So once you have the camera added, you're going to access it through the ring app. So if I just scroll down here, I can see this is the camera I named. So I named my floodlight cam be right. And I'm going to click on the three dots. So the three dots over here to the right will allow me to access the camera's menu. So I've got a few options here. I can go to my snooze. I can activate my lights. 
I can turn the siren on or I can go to my settings. All right, if I wanna go into the camera, I would just click right on the image itself and it'll take me into the camera. And as you can see, the night, the night image looks really good. You have a nice image here and I'm in live view now so I can see. And if I wanna hit the light, I would just go over here and hit that little light icon again. And now the light is actually on so you can see the backyard with the light on. And if I wanna turn the light off, just hit that little light again. It takes a minute for that night focus to focus again. But there you go. Now we're back in night mode. As you can see again, looks really good. And to scroll through and look at all my different events, scroll through the day and see different events of what the camera was recording. All right, and then you've got your settings again at the top right, the little gearbox or your settings. So you can go into your settings and you can access even more features and settings. So all this is covered in a separate video because there's just a lot to cover in here, as you can see. There's a lot of things you can do here. But that's just the basics. So just the basics of accessing your camera in the Ring app is going to be just going to the Ring app go to the camera that you named in this instance it's be right and then I can see right here I can look at it if you want to update it or go into live mode you can just click on it and then if I want to go to full screen I can hit that little box or turn my phone and then that'll put me in full screen and you can zoom in here too so if you needed to zoom in and look at something you can zoom in I'm just pinching my fingers to zoom in this is also where you would talk. So if you were somebody was back here and you were talking, you could use this feature to talk to them as well. And you got the little phone and then the hang up there. If I hit the hang up too, it'll take me out of this mode and back to our regular mode. And that's it. That's how you're going to access your camera within the Ring app. So remember, there's a separate video if you want to go to all the settings within the floodlight camera. I've got a separate video for that. So you can access that video and see all those settings to go in and kind of fine tune and get your floodlight cam set up the way you want it to work for you. And that's it. That's it for accessing it on the Ring app. All right, so there it is. You got it all set up. You added a device to the Ring app. You added that Ring floodlight cam to the Ring app. You accessed the camera in the Ring app, so you know how to do all those things now. There's gonna be a lot more of Ring app discovery videos coming up, so I want you guys to be able to go into your Ring app, access your different devices and cameras, and have full knowledge of how to do that, how to get the most out of it. So there's gonna be a lot more Ring Discovery app videos coming up. So this is Daniil Lanier. With that in mind, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I got more reviews, more DIY, how-tos, and of course, cool motivation coming at you. Have a good one, deuces.